be wise. This should be so simple, but for some of us, it's just not. Be wise. What situations do you have to avoid? If you're a guy who travels a lot for work and you're often alone in a hotel room, make sure every device that you have is protected and that somebody else has the combination if this is your struggle. It's the simple things, right? Make sure you have that guy you can call at 2 or 3 a.m. Girls, ladies, the same thing. 15% of Christian women struggle with this. It's not just a guy's problem anymore. Make sure you have that 2 or 3 a.m. friend that you can call and say, hey, I'm dealing with this. All right, let's talk about football. Because that's what we do in the body of Christ. We help each other walk with Christ and become holy in that. So be wise. Make wise decisions. What are you allowing into your home? on the internet? Do your kids have computers in their rooms? Do you have it a place of privacy? What are you allowing on the television set to come into your home that's a temptation to you? What books are you reading that you should not be reading? And here's one that kills me. As Christians, sometimes we put up with what's called casual flirting around the office or the grocery store or in our neighborhoods and it will lead to destruction. Most affairs don't begin with two people walking up to each other and saying, hey, you wanna have an affair? Most of it begins with a, hi, how are you? When you're in that place of mind and state that you didn't need to hear that because we have an enemy who comes to steal, to kill and destroy. And that's where that will lead. So no longer in the body of Christ should we ever Allow that because we honor God, because we honor our spouses, and we honor our own bodies because it is Christ who dwells in us.